We started with the top 30 players in the area on each the boys and girls side. We narrowed it down to 10 and 10, and tonight, 5 and 5, the final five, if you will, deemed first team all BCSN, proudly presented by Midas. Here's Justin Feldkamp. Elise Bender could become the first player to make first team all BCSN all four years of her high school career. She made it as a freshman last season, back again as a sophomore while averaging 17 points, six rebounds, two assists, and two steals a game for Anthony Wayne. Bender going right around, Hodges a chance for three at the line. She was the NLL and district player of the year. She's zeroing in on 1,000 career points and has college scholarship offers from Toledo, Villanova, Xavier, Bowling Green, Kent State, Miami, Bradley, and Youngstown State. Congratulations, Elise. Toledo Christian's Kendall Braden is also a two-time first-team All-BCSN player. The on-court leader of the Eagles led TC to the state tournament for the first time in program history while averaging 22 points, three rebounds, and two assists a game as a junior. She has 14 college offers from schools all across the Mid-American and Big East conferences. Braden launches a three, nothing but net. The TAC and District Player of the Year scored her 1,000th point this season and is a 3.9 GPA student. Congratulations to Kendall. Springfield's Kendall Crothers is also a two-time first-team All-BCSN player. She surpassed 1,000 career points while averaging 17 points, three rebounds, three assists, and three steals per game this season. Crothers, nobody stopped her. It's an and one. She will play college ball at St. Francis University in Pennsylvania after being named first-team All-NLL and first-team All-District. Congratulations, Kendall. Sinai Douglas brings it every game. The start Spartan Jr. was the City League and District Player of the Year. Douglas the hesitation, the drive, the reverse layup. As the catalyst for her team on both offense and defense, she averaged 16 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, and 5 steals a game. Her list of college scholarship offers, Iowa, Toledo, Bowling Green, Xavier, Cincinnati, Dayton, Miami, and Oakland. Congratulations, Sinai. Central Catholic's Brooklyn Vaughn was as productive as any player in the area, averaging 15 points and 14 rebounds a game. She was the best player on an Irish team that won 20 games. She won Track Player of the Year and District Player of the Year awards. Vaughn the catch and one! The first team all BCSN girls basketball class of 2023, Elise Kendall. Kendall, Sinai, and Brooklyn. On the boys' side, Whitmer's Antoine West is an electrifying scorer. 21 points, four rebounds, three assists, and two steals a game. He was named Track Player of the Year and District Player of the Year. Already as a sophomore, he has scholarship offers from Toledo and Duquesne. If the game is on the line and the Panthers need a free throw, he shot 81% from the stripe. Congratulations to Antoine. C.J. Hornbeek of St. John's surpassed 1,000 career points last season as a junior and is third on the school's all-time scoring list behind Mark Loving and B.J. Raymond. Hornbeek averaged 20 points, three rebounds, and two assists a game. He was crucial in crunch time as well, draining a buzzer beater to take down Finley in the district. It's good! Congratulations, C.J. Derek Vorst is the big man in the middle for Rossford. The six foot, 10 inch center led the Bulldogs to the regional tournament while averaging 13 points and 10 rebounds a game to go along with three assists and two blocks. Vorst again. The NBC Player of the Year and District Player of the Year will play in college for the Indiana State Sycamores. He was also a McDonald's All American nominee. Congratulations, Derek. Jerry Easter Jr. is a sophomore and is a flat-out scorer. Here's Jerry! From anywhere on the court, he delivers. He averaged 33 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, and 3 steals a game for Emmanuel Christian. He was the TAC Player of the Year and the District Player of the Year. He's already eclipsed 1,000 career points and dropped 51 in a single game this season. He has college offers from a ton of schools, including UT, BG, Ohio State, Michigan State, USC, and UCLA. Congratulations to Jerry. Start high school senior Romel Hightower was the City League Player of the Year. 
He was a double-double machine, averaging 16 points and 11 rebounds a contest. He led the Spartans to an undefeated regular season league and championship title. 360 Romel Hightower. Displaying his all-around skill, he also had 50 steals and 50 blocks this season. He was named first team all district. Congratulations, Romel. The first team all BCSN boys basketball class of 2023. Antoine, CJ, Derek, Jerry, and Ramel. And there you have it, the top five boys and girls as we welcome in Deion Thompson and John Hobbs. And gentlemen, we knew it was difficult to go from 30 to 10. It was nearly impossible to go from 10 to 5. Oh, my God. You know, I, I think that's a very tough list. If I could make a 5 be for the girls, <laughs> I got to mention Destiny Robinson. I just thought she played outstanding. I mean, when she was co-track player of the year, district player of the year, outstanding list. But... At some point, I guess there has to be a cutoff. And, and mind you, we're not the only ones right. who vote on the list. There's like a whole, there's a bunch of people, yep. and coaches included. So people think that we're just sitting up here because we talk about it and we vote on it. I like the boys. I think the boys, we nailed it with the boys. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's a very good five. Uh, that's a five I'm sure anybody would take. Coach Hobbs and I probably still be coaching if we had those five, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, John, we have Sinai Douglas, who's a finalist for Miss Basketball. Jerry Easter, who is a finalist for Mr. Basketball. That shows you the talent in Northwest Ohio this year. Well, you know, one of the things that people are critical of, of our list, Mark, is they say, well, all you put on there is people that score. You don't look at anything else. Well, I tell you what, when you look at Sinai Douglas and when you look at Carruthers at Springfield, you will find two young ladies who absolutely played more tougher defense than they are on offense. They pass the ball. They're great assists. They lead their teams. So this list is not only about who scores the most. Those are two examples of players that absolutely show their team. They lead by example, and they love defense as much as they do offense. They share the ball, Dion, like you wouldn't believe. Kendall Braden on that list, of course. Toledo Christian playing for a state championship tomorrow afternoon at down in Dayton, John, as they take on New Madison Tri-Village. It's a rematch of the regular season. Patriots did hand the Eagles one of their four losses, but Toledo Christian, what a dominant performance they had Thursday night. It's going to be a fun one tomorrow afternoon. Listen, Coach Deion Thompson will tell you, one of the toughest things there is to do is to beat a team two times in one season. When you play at the Classic in the country, it is the best of the best. And when you brought those two teams together, um, <laughs> you almost hate to be the team that won because now you're matching up again. You know each other. You've watched film. The butterflies and everything that was there before, it's not there now. And that's going to be a hard task tomorrow for Tri-Village. Listen, those young ladies at Toledo Christian, they are playing together. You got the three-headed monster of Butler, Brayton, and Davis. They absolutely are unselfish. Whoever is hot, they get the ball to them. And if, they, if Mackenzie Davis gets to going inside, that team is going to be tough. And Kaylana Butler, for some reason, the second half of the year, she is playing out of her mind. So when you put that all together, that team has an opportunity to be the first team since Coach Smith at Rogers won back-to-back to, back to bring that state championship back home. Let's go, Eagles. So little Christian looking for their first state championship. That's a 2 o'clock game in Dayton. 2 o'clock tomorrow night in Kent. Boys, Division I Regional Championship, Deion St. John's taking on Garfield Heights. You just said it. C.J. Hornbeek is playing his best basketball at the right time of the season. Listen, I mean, when you talk about St. John's, I don't know what happened, but I believe this happened. I think Coach Sean said, hey, you know what, guys? We got bigger fish to fry. And they didn't have a fish fry throughout this whole tournament. <laughs> I mean, they really have been. They've been knocked. They've knocked off the top teams everywhere. You cannot deny them. You know, we saw the emergence of Murphy. We see how Franklin's playing. But they're playing a team in Garfield Heights who just beat St. Ignatius, uh, what was that, 38-37. Mm -hmm. 2.3 seconds left. Remember the name, Marcus Johnson. He missed the front end of a two-shot uh, foul, hits the second one, puts him up by one. St. Ignatius, they come down and miss the shot. But they got a guy. Also, let's see, his name is DeAndre Jones, six foot nine. Yes. In the paint, blocked four shots, had nine rebounds. I think the way St. John's plays, this could be a good matchup for him because they got guys that can shoot around the perimeter and they can get up and down. So this is a winnable game for St. John's. I'm not counting them out. 
I, I'm just not anymore because they have proven that they are a hot team this March. So tomorrow, St. John's, Garfield Heights, 2 o'clock. You can be able to see that game on tape delay basis on BCSN. You can see the Toledo Christian Girls Basketball State Championship game live 2 o'clock on BCSN at 2. John Hobbs, Deion Thompson, thank you for tonight. Thank you for an entire season of Game Day Nation Overtime. Well, thank, thanks for having us. This has been a lot of fun. I finally, finally get here with my brother John in here. <laughs> Rhett, Rhett's doing his thing, you know, uh, at the MAC tournament. But, you know, Mark, it's been great working with you. We, the, the five months go so fast. Yes. When we're working in here together, some great games, some great players. And guys, support Toledo. Support Toledo Christian tomorrow. Support St. John's. Now it's about Northwest Ohio. Yes.